Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to make some more improvements to our raft. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to round off this part of my engine. See, it's flat right now, but I want to make this round. So the easiest way for me is just to make a copy of the engine glow and just modify that. So let me make a copy of this. Control D. We'll copy it. Uh, oh, and I have collisions on. Turn that off. Okay, I'm going to move it over. And this actually made a copy of the particle emitter. So let me turn that, let me delete that. And let me rename this from engine glow to engine front. Okay. And then I want to change some properties on this engine front. I want to change the uh, material to a metal so that it matches the rest of my engine. And then the color I think is fossil. Let me just, if you hover over these, they tell you what they are. There it is. And that looks good. Okay. And the other thing I want to do is I want to create a weld to connect this to my boat. So let me go here, create weld, click on the floor and then click on my front part. Okay. Let's test that. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah. I like that. I think it looks better that way. Okay. Now there's, so you can create everything yourself, right? And this is kind of the way I like to do things. I like to make everything, um, mainly because, you know, these are my creations. I don't want to use somebody else's work in my game. But the other thing is that I always make very simple models. Uh, the thing you have to remember is that the more complicated your models are, the, the slower your game is going to run on slow phones. Not everybody has the latest phone. Some people have old phones. And if you fill your game with lots of really complicated models, it's going to be very laggy when it plays on their phones. And so I always try to use these very simple shapes in, in, for everything that I make, just because it runs very smoothly, okay? But let's say that you wanted to add something more complicated, right? How would you do that? Well, I'm going to show you two things. One is using meshes and one is using models. And meshes is much simpler. Models is very messy. But let's go ahead and add a mesh to our boat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a passenger. So the way that I do this is I go over here to boat, click on the plus, and start typing mesh part. And as soon as you start typing it, you'll get the autocomplete. Click on mesh part. And now we have this little, um, I don't even know, checkerboard, white, gray block in our in our world okay and what we want to do is we let me move this forward a little bit uh let me click on where is it mesh part let me click on that and just move that forward okay and what we want to do is we want to go to our toolbox and we want to enter something but we don't want to use models first let's use meshes okay and under meshes actually i'm just going to use one of the meshes that Oh wait, and I guess it still had this. Hold on, let me click enter. Yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna use one of the meshes that pop up right at the beginning. It's this little little doll. Freddy plush. We're gonna add that to our boat. And here's how we do it. Under mesh part, well, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make this massless because we don't want this thing to sink our boat. So massless. And then there's two things we have to change. We have to change the texture ID and the mesh ID. And we get those by right clicking on the mesh here. So I right clicked and I'm gonna copy the texture ID, go over here, click on that and paste, hit enter. Okay. And then we have to copy the mesh ID. So right click on Freddy, copy the mesh ID, go over to mesh ID and paste. And when you do that and hit enter, we're going to get this gigantic, let me close the toolbox, gonna to get this gigantic mesh, okay? And we wanna, we wanna scale this down, we wanna shrink him. But you wanna do it a certain way. So if you click on the scale button and you click these blue, any of the circles, watch what happens. It scales him, but it makes him, you know, it doesn't keep his proportions correct. So I'm going to press control Z, but you can scale while keeping the proportions the same by holding shift. So if you hold shift and then move it, one of the little spheres, you can make him nice and tiny, but he will look the same. And then I can move him forward and let me zoom in on him actually. And let me turn collisions back on because I want him to stop when he hits the bottom of, or the floor of my boat. There he goes. 
Okay, and let me center him. Actually, you don't really need to center him since he's just a passenger. He looks fine like that. Um, let me think. Oh, I forgot to attach him to my boat. So let me let me just change the angle. Okay, I'm going to add a weld. And I'm going to click on my boat floor. And then I'm going to click on Freddy. And let's check that. Yeah, and so it's connecting the boat floor and the mesh part. So that is correct. So now, last thing to do is test. Let's make sure Freddy stays where he's supposed to. Looks good. My engine is improved. And no matter where, which way direction I move, Freddy stays there. But let me show you what he looks like. <laughs> kind of like that. Okay, so we have a little guy, a little, a little passenger for our boat. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, and I will see you.